So people ask me all the time for defensive knife recommendations. My first recommendation is fixed blade over folders. Despite that, a lot of people carry folders, so I'm gonna talk about one particular consideration you should keep in mind. But first, a quick tip on deployment if you're just beginning to practice. You wanna execute some sort of a distraction or a percussive strike. Something like that. Nice and simple for now. Now, while you should be dynamic at the beginning stages, it's okay to be static. So we're gonna execute a push followed by a consistent index of wherever you're going to carry that knife. Strike index access, deployment. Now this is where I wanna talk about a particular feature of folding knives. Now there are several deployment assist mechanisms out there, the Emerson Wave, the Brand Frank Ramp, tons of features that help you deploy the knife once you've accessed it, right? All sorts of thumb flicks, all sorts of different options. The thing is, all of them require some kind of fine motor movements. And on top of that, most knives don't have an open assist upon access. So you've got things like thumb studs, these backy flippity things, but again, all requiring fine motor movements. So one thing to look for when you're deciding on a defensive blade is how much of that blade is exposed outside of the handle. And really you want as much of that blade exposed as possible for a defensive blade and I'll tell you why. Because under stress, you wanna be able to just grab that blade, maybe you're fumbling with it and still be able to deploy it with bigger motor movements, let's say. Like so. Oscar worthy performance, by the way. All right, once again, just one thing to consider when you are selecting a folder blade as your defensive knife is how much of that blade is exposed out of the handle. 